What's going on, people? Hope y'all are doing uh, fantastic. Uh, here is a... I got a, a comment under one of my videos, and uh, the question was pertaining to finding a good mechanic, of how to find a good mechanic. So, I'll give you some pointers on what you can do to find a good mechanic. Uh, it's not going to be a one-size-fits-all answer, but I'm going to try to break it down to where you can probably, hopefully, comprehend what I'm saying. So, first thing is, it's going to depend on the year of the truck that you drive. Because if you drive a newer truck with EGR valve, uh, EGR valve and um, DEF and all that electronic garbage and uh, emissions crap <coughs> you're gonna limit yourself on where you can take your truck to and if you need to you know uh, concerning those issues if you have a truck that is pre emissions you can take it to your mom and pop shops uh, and you know get get it worked on there now there's going to be a big pricing difference with a newer truck versus an older truck when it comes to those type of issues. With a newer truck, when you take it to the shop and it's some kind of, you know, they got to plug it in because everything is run by the computer now. They got to plug it in. So now you're looking at maybe $150 an hour, you know, just for them to figure out the problem, what's going on. Uh, whereas, let's say you have an older truck. I'm trying to switch hands here and not uh, block the view. Let's say you have an older truck, pre, let's just say pre emissions, um, and you're having an issue. Usually, the mechanics they already been through all this. You know, there's like, oh well, if you if it's doing this, is that over there? If it's doing this, is this over here? Um, and I'm not saying that doesn't happen with the with the newer truck, but you know, with the older truck, I mean, they've been tested, proven, and tried, right? Uh, you know, these trucks running out, the older trucks, you know, been out here for years. You know, same technology. You know, in the motors, you know, everything's pretty much the same. Um, so that's why some of us say to get an older truck. I mean, it's not just you know uh, because they're cheaper. It's because you know they they've been around forever. Um, and a lot of your older mechanics, you know, they know the workings in and out, you know, to where, you know, you don't have to plug the machine in. And if you have a computer, you don't have to plug it in and, you know, you know, get a diagnostic reading and, uh, 12 pages long and this and that and the other thing, other thing else. I mean, if you're into that, that's, that's fine. But, um, I'm just, you know, like, I'm just, just giving you my opinion. Um, so you're looking at $125 to $150 an hour for a newer truck because you can't take it to an older shop because they don't some of, most of them don't have the equipment to do that. So, let's say you have a an older truck. You take it to uh Billy Bob's Truck Garage. Um I don't know if that's a really name. I'm just picking the name off my head. I'm not trying to offend nobody. Billy Bob's Truck Garage, you take it in there. Um yeah, we'll take a look at it. Oh, you need this, uh, this, this, that, and that. Uh, we can have it done for you. Uh, we can have it done for you by tomorrow. Why? Because they already they know what they're doing. I mean, not saying that the newer people don't know what they're doing, but they they've been through this before. Um, and instead of paying $125 an hour, depending on where you go, though, you might only pay $65 an hour, maybe $70 an hour, something like that. So. I mean, you you have to decide where you have to decide where you know you want to where you want to be at. Um, see, I mean, there's more. See, when people put out videos, certain people put out videos. There's more to it than just surface level stuff. There's you know some some of the stuff goes deep. I mean, and you know we some of us. When I say some of us, uh, Golden Child. Uh, and uh, Icewater815. Go check them out. 
we say surface level stuff, but it's a lot of the stuff, it, I mean, it goes deep. So there's a reason why we're saying it. We're not just saying it because, you know, we read it on the internet or we, um, y we heard somebody else say it. Um, so, uh, you got to do your own you due diligence. So that, that's pretty much what I'm saying. So, um, hopefully, I don't, I don't know if that answered your question or not. Uh, hopefully it did. Um, so that's why we recommend, you know, getting a, an older truck. Um, as far as credit goes with a mechanic, with a, uh, repair shop or something like that, I was never in that situation where I had to, uh, where they had to fill out an application, a credit application, so on and so forth. The shop that I go to, they, once I build a trust with them, um, they, you know, hey, I, I need this done. You know, I'm having a problem with this, that, and the other. All right, I'm back. Uh, camera shut off. I ran out of memory. But as I was saying that, you know, I, I can pull the truck in the shop, you know, hey, you, you call them up on the phone. I'm having a problem with this, that, and the other. And uh, they're like, okay, well, bring it in. You know, we'll figure it out and we'll, you know, fix it. And then uh, they write off the bill. They call me up. Hey, this is what your bill is. All right. I'll take care of it next week, two weeks, whatever. Or sometimes they only—they just write it up. They don't even tell me what the bill is. You know, I got—I got to call them. Hey, man, what? You know, how much do I owe you? So, um, that—I mean, that's just how he does business. He doesn't have—he doesn't even have a computer in the in the in the shop. Uh, he has a fax machine, um, telephone, and he has a TV. That's it, radio. Um, but as far as getting credit. Uh, I don't know. You, you, have, you have to ask somebody else, you know, as far as the shop goes. Um, now, hopefully that answers your question. I mean, that, that's, that's my opinion. That's, you know, where I'm coming from. Um, now, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm going to drop some, some things to think about. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it like that. There's another reason why... I recommend getting an older truck and why some other people recommend getting an older truck for I don't know what their reasons are but I know what my reasons are and if you get a truck that is going to require an electronic log you're going to be number one the government's already I mean they're already into our business anyway but you want to reduce the risk you want to reduce the exposure um, well, I guess it's going to bring its own set of set of uh, exposure with this, but you want to stay running paper logs. I mean, can you make money, you know, running on um, on e logs? Yeah, but let's say this is hypothetical, right? Let's say you know you're running, you're running your steady route, you know your your route, your normal thing that you do, and then you get a phone call one day. Hey, I got, you know, X amount of loads that need to move or I need this moved over here, you know, as soon as possible. You know, and this is what it pays. It pays all that? Yeah, it pays all that. Can you do it? Uh no, I'm 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 I don't have enough time. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm on e logs and uh I I can't do it. Okay, I'll call somebody else. Alright. Call somebody then that's the somebody with a you know, that's running e-laws right so let's say that another phone call that's uh not run let's just say not running e-logs hey uh i got this load um that needs to be moved as soon as possible here's what it's paying you know you think you can do it it pays what it needs to be there when <laughs> all right dog i'll let you know when i'm there um and that i'll just leave it that i'll just stop right there and I'll just I'll just I'll just go ahead and let it out because and I know some other truckers feel this way too. Um, there's a reason why I don't have pre-pass in my truck, and there's a reason why I don't have easy pass in my truck. Because everything everything is being recorded. 
even I mean the cell phones I mean everything is being recorded so I'll just say if you got a boogie one day whatever the case may be I'm just saying whatever whatever the situation is you got a boogie one day well if you have all that stuff in, in your truck you are increasing your chances of them seeing what you are doing you know you you just you know what I'm saying uh, I probably said enough in that video um, so hey if you like my content you know make sure you like it you share it and subscribe because um, we like to push the envelope just a little bit over here you know what I'm saying uh, and go check out Icewater815 and Golden Child um, I'll see you in the next one